The Nature Conservancy is a conservation organization, uh, but we do realize that for you to be able to do conservation in Africa, you've got to address agriculture. It is the missing link. The Nature Conservancy is our convener. Uh, we do very well in terms of leading partnerships and doing work at scale. Uh, on the other hand, uh, that's on one hand, the Nature Conservancy being this, this international NGO that does a lot of work across the landscapes. On the other hand, you've got IITA, that is a, a science organization that is leading the excellence in agronomy, which is a CG program. And um, they, having the science products that are needed at the, that scale that we are operating, the landscape scale, uh, that partnership therefore becomes very complementary. On one hand, you've got an international NGO that is very effective in taking science to scale, and at the same time, you've got a, a CGIR program that is called Excellence in Agronomy that has the science products. So this combination is, is perfect in the sense that you had what President Kikweta was saying. You've got the what is supposed to be done, what is missing is the how you have that science, those products taken to scale to solve Af Africa's uh, 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 complex problems. Food security, but also conservation, and these need to go hand in hand. Um, the, 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 the signing that you've seen today is around two factors that I've just mentioned. You've got the science, the agronomy, but you've got also the need to have that science applied you know, at that scale in, in, in ensuring that you've got both food security, productivity, but also protecting the environment. So this partnership is effective in the sense that it's going to utilize a critical component of the how, what we're calling the MVP, the language of, uh, of excellence in agronomy, ensuring that you've got a foodscape innovation hub, a mechanism put in place and, and investments put in that mechanism to ensure that we don't just have the partnerships and the governance, but the finance that is necessary, but also the, the, the opportunity that is available to these partnerships to make sure that that, uh, you know, a multitude of, 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 of products is effectively utilized across that scale. We're beginning this work in the Central Highlands of Kenya in a program called the Central Highlands Ecoregion Foodscape, the CHEF, but we're hoping that over the, 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 in the course of one year from now, we're going to transition from CHEF to a much bigger program. Uh, this morning we had a, a very special moment for our initiative in that we, we signed a, a partnership with the Nature Conservancy to, to work at a, at a scale that we don't typically work in, which is at a landscape scale. But Nature Conservancy calls it a foodscape because we're going to be providing scientific uh, solutions and content across multiple uh, zones within the Central Highlands of Kenya. Uh, what is really important about this partnership is that it is built along the principles of excellence in agronomy, which are about being demand driven. How do we effectively respond to the demand that is coming from farmers and communities at a sub-county level for solutions to improve their agriculture but also to create sustainable ecosystems. So we're really excited about this partnership because it will ensure that we can bring together the power of CGL science but TNC's power of convening communities and deploying solutions and actually create a sustainable foodscape in the central highlands of Kenya, which are one of the most important uh, regions from a both an environmental but also an agricultural point of view in Kenya.